Ballinger at shortstop. First pitch from Doug Nikhazy comes inside. We're underway for the 2020 college baseball season. First batter, Luke Brown for the Cardinals. Junior, 5'10", 190. Bats left, throws right. And he's going to swing at the second pitch. He sees it's going to drop in front of Jerry and Ely. Plenty of speed in the outfield. He won't get to that one. And the Cardinals pick up where they left off in 2019 with a leadoff hit. Yeah, and a team that's very aggressive in the first inning. Can he come through one to Casey? Bounce back. The 0-2. Swung on high in the zone to Casey. Big emotion coming off the field as he leaves the bases loaded. Pitcher of the year in the country. Um, there's some real expectations when that's what's labeled. And Ole Miss has been waiting to face Reed Detmers. Anthony Servideo, the leadoff hitter. He's aboard with a leadoff double. Got ahead in the count. Got a fastball out over the plate. Anthony Servideo, an electric player. He's a guy at the top of the lineup that can really make a difference. So he can go down and get that fastball. Drove it out in the left center gap. No chance for the Louisville outfielders. And Rebels instantly have something going with Servideo who can really run on second base. And we talked about how Mike Bianco is going to rely on these guys who have seen some big time at bats. Servideo being one of those guys, and you don't think he heard all offseason what it was going to be like facing Reed Detmers and wanting to go out there and set the tone. Two outs, the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He let the first two Rebels reach and then struck out the side. Reed Detmers showing why. Many have. Van Cleve, a line drive to right field. He's heading from first to second. This is going to be the second hit of the ball game. Both of them extra base hits. Servideo's doubled to lead off the game for Ole Miss. And now Ben Van Cleve finds himself at second with nobody out. Yeah, really good piece of hitting by Van Cleve. We just talked about him. Mike Bianco did being on time on fastball. Here, Detmers throws the fastball. It's down the way. Really nice piece of hitting for Van Cleve. Goes down and gets it. Gets it to right field. Able to get to second base. And we are going to get there. There's your pinch runner. Gonna get a pinch runner. That's all you can ask of, of number 33. Turn on the G. He's going to rope this one over the second baseman's head. Plumley comes home to score. And Ole Miss has a 1-0 lead. Breaking ball that hung right there. That was not a good pitch for Tappers. We've seen him throw so many key pitches today, getting strikeouts, making guys miss. Right here, I think you're going to see a breaking ball that spins way up in the zone. There was. Anthony Servideo kept the hands back. It's a good piece of hitting, and the levels are on the board, and we finally have a run in this game. The way pitching is gone. Runs have been hard to come by, you see. Blumley coming around to score in his collegiate here for Nikhazy. From the windup. This one's going to be sent out into left field by Brown. He's got a multi-hit day here on opening day. In his Louisville Cardinal debut. Chatney unable to get to that ball. It'll be back-to-back -back hits for the Cardinals here in the top of the sixth inning. One-two offering from Doug Nikhazy. Roped out towards center field. Ely's not going to get to it. One Cardinal's going to score around third. Coming home was Oriente. And the Cardinals have a 2-1 lead. Big fist bump out there by Britton at second base. A two-RBI double. A really good read by Oriente at second base right there. Realizing that ball is going to be down. Able to get himself in to score. Went down and got that ball. Like a breaking ball down and away. Ely unable to get there. And look, Britton, great hustle. I didn't think he's going to get to second base on that all of a sudden. Ely makes a good play. Catches the ball, cuts it off, makes a throw to second. Britton able to get to second base. And Louisville, just like that, they're up 2-1. to one. Britton's a guy that they were hoping to have a big impact here in 2020. Louisville putting on a hitting clinic here in the half inning. Down by one entering it. They are just hitting back to back to back. 
Britton comes home to score from second. Davis brings him around. It's 3-1 Louisville. Yeah, and a mistake you get by Nikhazy right there with that breaking ball. We, we talked about Detmer's last inning. Remember, hanging a breaking ball. So video gets a base hit. You're going to see it right here. Doug Nikhazy, breaking ball way up in the zone. That one's going to get hit a lot, especially with a good hitter. Davis does not miss it. Able to keep that one fair. And as you said, Chatney able to turn on one and find the 5-6 hole. So with one down, the Rebels have a base runner. Yeah, you said it earlier. Shatney. Trying to flail this one out into center field and does. Shatney being waved home. And Ole Miss gets another run up on the board. Four to two is the score. Back to back hits here for Justin Bench. This one comes with an RBI. Yeah, take a break of ball right here by Kirian. Right down the middle. Which doesn't try to do too much. Just gets the barrel to it, punches it through the middle of the field. Let's do cut that lead up to two. A couple of men on base. Elko's trying to send it right back up the middle. Good job by Levy. He was in position, gloved it, stepped on the back at second. We're out. I'm getting to watch some baseball with you. How yes, about that? You are. That is quite the Valentine's Day gift. Levy's able to squeak that one inside the back. He's churning for second and he'll get there easily. Lead off double for the senior Justin Levy. It's the second time today we've seen Levy go down the right field line. The first one's a fly ball down the right field line. This time, breaking ball, stays on top of it. And I mean, he scoots it just inside that first base bag. Kill Baker tries to get it, unable to do so. The 0-2 offering on the way from Broadway. Grounded to the right side. Off of Baker's glove, it's going to get out into the outfield. And Levy's going to come around to score. That's a fifth run up on the board for a Cardinals. That's a big one. Gets that lead back to three. Yeah, Baker's going into the hole to try to get this ball, and, and as he gets over to it, if he doesn't hit it, Chatney is going to be able to catch this ball behind him. It certainly looks like going to keep it in the infield, but Baker unable to catch it. Five to two, but ended up coming away with a 9-6 victory. Right back up the middle goes Benellis. That's his first hit of the ball game, and it comes at eight. Very important time for Louisville. One run comes in, a second one comes home on the bobbled ball in the outfield. And Louisville extends their lead in the top of the ninth inning. And Tiriana Ely coming in right there. I think there's no play at the plate, but he's coming in trying to make a play at the plate. And by doing so, overruns it. Louisville was going to get the one run. Really great hustle allows him to get a second run. Ely, I think almost not realizing, looking at that replay set, that he had missed the ball. And able to go back. Leonard's going to sky this one to left field. Bench on the run. He's going to get down and make the grab. Fantastic way to end the inning for Justin Bench, who's making his first start in left field. Not a bad job as he tries to get settled in out there. Yeah, and able to figure out where the wall is. Watch him as he slides. You're able to slow yourself down. And the inning, and the Rebels have some work to do in the bottom of the ninth, and Louisville's going to get game one. Kirian right over the plate for a strikeout, the final out of the night. 14 strikeouts for this Louisville pitching staff. They'll come away with a victory on opening day, a 7-2 win over the Ole Miss Rebels. Yeah, really strong performance on the mound. I think... One of those things where, where you're looking at Louisville, you know coming in, boy, they're good on the mound. Ole Miss has some new hitters, and, and it kind of showed up in a big way today. 14 strikeouts. Hard to win a game when you strike out 14 times, that's for sure. Detmers gets the win here on opening day, his first of the season. Kirian, another save, his sixth of his career. We're right back at it tomorrow, 1.30 Central Time for Game 2. It'll be Bobby Miller going up against Gunnar Hoagland. But that doesn't...